Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO here at BIM Object. And today we're very happy to announce the release of the Weber Sanguban Lecker Block Internal Wall System for Revit and Archicad. First of all, I'd like to explain how these videos will be presented. So firstly, there'll be two separate videos, a Revit and an Archicad video, both showing a quick overview of how the products work and later on I'll do a more in-depth tutorial in Revit but in this video I'll be going through the Archicad solution and we assume that you have a good knowledge of Archicad and you know how the accessories tools work and how to download and install it of course and if you don't that's okay again we'll be doing a more in-depth tutorial later on so as you can see here we're on the bimobject.com web portal and you can see the internal wall here for the Lerka system for both Archicad and Revit. And just a note for Archicad users, you don't need to download every product. We have um, packed all of the objects into one LCF file. So once you're into Archicad, you'll see two different parts to this project. First of all, you'll see the internal wall, which is connected with the accessories add-on. And in the parts folder, you'll find all of the different individual blocks so you'll find the 125 the 95 and the 75 the corresponding N blocks and the lintels as well depending on which lintel you choose that determines the length of the lintel these are all fixed lengths so it's only these lengths that you can order the Lerka lintels in and the 75 as you can see here we only have a 1500 millimeter length and then finally the the profile the wall profile which is available in horizontal and in a vertical profile as you can see here this is the horizontal one and again these are available in two lengths in 1200 millimeters and two meter lengths so what I'd like to do now is to show the uh, the add-on solution or the accessories solution which is free for all Archicad users um, after I have initially selected the internal walls here in Archicad we can just quickly have a look at these in the 3D window and as you can see here they're the wireframe walls here that I'll be using as a base to place out the real product models. Again with the walls selected in the floor plan we go to the design menu, design extras, accessories, wall accessories and you'll see here in the the folder here we have the Weber objects and you'll see the block types here under the general settings there's the 75, the 95 and the 125 we have all of the different settings here as well uh, half block joints and I'll be going through those in more detail in the next film and this informational text that you see here is just that it has nothing to do with geometry so it's just giving the users the ability to see what type of fire rating and what type of noise reduction we can achieve by choosing a render on one or both sides so as you can see now the weight of the wall is actually heavier with render on both sides the fire rating is much better and the noise reduction as well we have different settings concerning walls and T intersections if we choose none we let the system in this case Archicad fix the connections for us but we also have the opportunity to be able to individually change the corners and the end solutions um, manually and it's the same on, on both corners of course and then finally we have the 2D representations and the 3D representations the different pens and fill settings and of course the different materials that we have here as well and as you can see here under the material settings we do have the Lerka specific products as well and we can show the grout lines in 3D as well and we also have a, uh, a detail level setting so none of course you won't see anything in the 3D window but you'll still see a 2D representation simple will be a more simplified 3D model and detail will be full detail of course so once everything's been set we choose OK and we can simply go ahead and place these out in the floor plan now by when once we get the eye out we can simply click out in the floor plan and as you'll see here now all of the blocks will be placed accordingly so if we have a look at that in the 3D window, we can see the uh, the final results. And actually, you can see here that there's uh, some things that need to be adjusted. I did that on purpose so I can show these settings here. So as you can see, or as I mentioned earlier, we have different settings. So we have the end cap setting here. So we have the end blocks. 
and get that nice finish there for the wall. We also have some other settings uh, regarding patterns etc. Again I'll be going through those in more detail and exactly how they work in a, uh, a tutorial video later on. And one last thing I'd like to mention uh, with regard to the uh, the interior walls here. So if I just go ahead and mark one of these walls we can actually see here that we even have composite structures as well so under the structure cut fill once you've bought the, um, these attributes into Archicad they're in form of an AAT file which can be downloaded from the portal as well you'll find the different composite structures and you'll also find the materials and the textures in the AAT files as well sorry the textures you'll find separately but the materials will be included in the AAT file which are also available for download at bimobject.com under Weber Senkoban and the Lecker Block series. So that's what I'd like to show today. Thank you very much for your time and again uh, I'll be doing a more in-depth tutorial coming very soon. Thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.